everyone, I'm Vivi Tomasi, and today on Bizarre Biz, I'm going to talk to two experts on dog massage. I am a dog lover, and I can't wait to give these puppies a rub down in a professional way. Right now we are at Yvonne's house. I was here to interview her and Kim about their job. They are both dog massage therapists. Kim, Kim, and I'm gonna you guys. I kept calling her Kim. She's Kim. This is Nelly. This is Yvonne, and this is Mossy. And I accidentally called Kim Nelly, and she was like, uh, no, I'm Kim. And I'm like, whoops. When did you hear of dog massage therapy? For me, a family member um, brought it up to me, and I went, what? Yeah, exactly what people say to me now. And then I called up Ohio School of Massage and, and that's signed how up, you and then we met. But before this, what did you girls do? So I have a master's in marriage family therapy. I did it with the fashion industry. I was um, oh. in wholesale sales. Uh -huh. I worked in the men's and women's fashion industry. What's the process of being uh, certified and becoming a professional, a skilled person to be able to do this profession. You have to go through some school mm -hmm. workshops. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. There are only, only a few uh, canine massage schools out there that are credible. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to do your research. They usually go to a client's house. They never bring the, the dogs to their home, but every uh, single client, they have a space in order to do the massage. Have you had any um, owners of the dogs who are interested in massage as well or <laughs> do you do human massage too or like what does that work occasionally they um, would ask somebody will ask if, uh, if, <laughs> if they can uh, if they get on all fours uh, they can get a massage not this girl uh -uh. <laughs> no. mm -mm. I think that the foundational thing is not necessarily a skill because that's something that you will learn and then refine but I think you have to have a quality in yourself in order to gain the skills necessary to become a great practitioner <laughs> and this happens because they're Usually dogs, in not humans. Sessions, exactly. Yeah. And we Nelly. don't ever want to restrain Nelly. or confine them to Nelly. Uh, let them know that they've got choices as well. I think he's like the new hands on his back. He's like, I smell way too good. The dogs wouldn't want to stay. And I'm like, oh my God, are we going to be able to film this? This is Nelly. Yeah. Never mind. I don't think they like the camera. Oh I'll my be, God, I'll that's be so the right. dog, right? Okay. No okay. <laughs> anyway, I think they got uh, camera shy like me. Nelly. Come on, baby. You know what? That, for a first session, um, plus with all the distractions around, actually, that went pretty darn well. This is so funny. Very good. Okay. Cool. My favorite technique was the paw one, because my dog never lets me touch her paw. How long does a session um, typically last? So I it could be a full hour. Um, for other dogs, it could be like 10 to 15 minutes. If my dog would have a back issue or arthritis or anything like that, and it, it's in pain, I would have no problem paying that for my dog and for her to feel better, you know? Mm -hmm. 